Hello everyone and welcome back to Tech Horizon. My name is Dave and today I'm going to show you how to host a dark web website or basically a site with a dot onion address on your Raspberry Pi. Now the method that I'm going to show you is completely for free and super simple. If you want to set everything up headlessly on your Pi, you can check out my previous video by clicking on the info card in the top right corner of your screen. Now before we get started, I just wanted to clarify what the dark web is and how you can access it. So the dark web is an encrypted network of websites that you can't access with your standard browser. Instead, you can only access it by using the Onion or Tor browser for example. I'm not going to go into too much detail on how this works, but basically, the Tor browser routes your web page requests through multiple proxy servers making your IP close to untraceable. That's why it's also called the Onion browser because all of these layers of security are supposed to resemble an onion. But before we get started, I wanted to point out that this is a purely educational video and doesn't support or encourage any criminal or better said illegal activity. With that out of the way, let's get started. So I'm going to be setting everything up on my Raspberry Pi 4 4GB model running the Raspberry Pi OS, but you can also do this using different operating systems. First of all, open up the terminal and update everything by typing sudo apt update and sudo apt upgrade. After that, reboot your Pi by typing sudo reboot. Then open up the terminal again and install Tor by typing sudo apt install Tor. After that, open up the Tor config file by typing sudo nano slash etc slash tor slash torrc. Once you've done that, scroll down to the hidden service directory and service port. Here simply uncomment these two lines. If you're wondering what these two lines do, the first line is basically where your private or public key or onion address is stored. And the second line more or less specifies what information will be made available on the dark web. So once you've done that, press Ctrl X, hit Y and enter to save and exit the file. Then restart the Tor service by typing sudo service Tor stop and sudo service Tor start. Now to check if it's actually running, you can type sudo service tor status. As you can see, it's active. Great. This means that you're on the dark web and have your own .onion address. You can now have a look at your .onion address by typing sudo cat slash var slash lib slash tor slash hidden underscore server slash hostname. Okay, so this over here is your .onion address or basically your website. You can copy it to access the website later. Next, I recommend installing Nginx to actually display something on your website. So go ahead and type sudo apt install nginx. After installing nginx, start it up by typing sudo service nginx start. Once again, you can have a look at the status, so sudo nginx status. And once again, it's active and running. Perfect. Now you can have a look at your website by opening up your Onion or Tor browser and pasting your .onion address. By the way, you can install the Tor browser using PyApps and I'll make sure to leave a link to PyApps below. As you can see, Nginx pops up and everything seems to work even without having to do any port forwarding or anything network related like that. Next, I'm going to show you how you can make your website slightly safer. To do that, head back to your terminal and type sudo nano slash etc slash nginx slash nginx.conf. Here uncommon server tokens off and server name in redirect off as well. After that add port underscore in underscore redirect off semicolon. Then press ctrl x, y and enter to save and exit the file again and type sudo service nginx restart. Now you can finally customize your website to your liking by typing cd slash var slash www slash html and deleting the content with sudo rm index dot nginx dash debian dot html which is what you saw on the website earlier. After that type sudo nano slash index dot html to create your own custom website interface. Here you can add your html code. For demonstration purposes, I just pasted some basic HTML code into here. Control X, Y and enter and now restart Nginx once more, so sudo service Nginx restart. 
Now your website should be done, so let's quickly have a look. Perfect! As you can see I'm running a fully customized dark web website on my Raspberry Pi 4 and it works. How awesome is that? But apart from that, that will be it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video and I was able to help you out. If you found this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and if you want to see content just like this in the future, please consider subscribing. See you in the next one.